Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode. Today we're gonna make the humble chicken pie. I'm gonna use limited amount of ingredients. Now you can twist and tweak ingredients as you wish, but there's some crucial steps that you need to follow to get, to get maximum burst of flavor with limited ingredients. So, why are we waiting for? Let's get started. Firstly, weigh all ingredients for the dough together. Use cold water for the dough. The reason is the butter can melt while handling the dough. So it is very important that you use cold water so the butter stays its shape. Mix the dough ingredients together with your hands. You don't have to thoroughly knead this dough. All you have to do is mix it well until the ingredients are mixed through. Cover and let it rest in the fridge for half an hour. In the meantime, you can make your chicken filling. Now the trick is don't add all your vegetables together. Add your vegetables gradually. By adding the vegetable in a step-by-step -step process, what you do is you let the natural flavor of the vegetables come through. What happens when you mix all your vegetables together is that you don't let any of the flavors come through. Pan gets overcrowded and it doesn't let you get maximum flavor. Now, how I'm doing this is I firstly put the vegetables that are hard to cook like the carrots first. Then I put the chicken and then I put the mushrooms and finally at the end after adding cream I put the peas. That is because I don't want the peas to lose its color and flavor through. Now let the cream reduce a little bit on a low fire until it absorbs all the flavors of the vegetables. Then add in your mustard and finally half a tea tablespoon of flour. What the flour does is, it will make this sauce thicken. You cannot have your chicken pie mixture too runny or too thick. So the flour will thicken up the sauce. After adding the flour, leave it for about one minute while stirring so that the flour cooks through and you don't have a floury taste. Then take it off the heat and let it cool down. Now take your pie dough out from the fridge and roll it. Add flour on top of your dough as well as on your work surface so it's easier to roll. This dough is very delicate so handle it with care. So when you need to place this dough on the pie tin, roll it onto the rolling pin as shown on the video and gently place it on your pie tin. Now you don't need to have a pie tin to do this dish. You can use a normal serving ware as well, a bakeware, a serveware, anything that can go into the oven. Pass your rolling pin on top of the edges so then you can cut the dough neatly. Add your chicken mixture into the pie. Now the off cuts you have from your pie can be rolled up again and flattened to do the same process to cover the top of the pie. If you want to go all fancy and decorate your pie, you can do that. Egg wash the pie just before putting it on into the oven. Cook your pie at 200 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Now. The time will also depend on the type of oven you have. So just check until you have a golden brown color in your pie. Cook it until then. Remember, the chicken mixture is already cooked. So you don't have to make sure the chicken mixture is cooked. You just have to make sure the pie dough is cooked and it has a golden brown color. 